Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing everything I crocheted in 2023. I have been a crochet artist for about two, three years. I did do a lot of pattern tests. I will be linking all of the crochet artists I tested for in the description below. Anyways, let's get straight on to the video. I'm gonna go in categories. So for the first category, it is... So the first top that I crocheted was a shrug. Is I wanted to get my my feet in the water of crochet clothes um because i'm not comfortable i feel like i need a lot of yarn especially for my size i'm a mid-size and i have broad shoulders and big arms so i felt like this was the most comfortable option to crochet um for me to wear this cardigan this is her took three months i started towards the end of october and this was my gilmore girls era I actually learned how to crochet without looking crocheting this um, cardigan. It was a challenge. I did try to start a cardigan, a patchwork cardigan in like 2021, but it just never worked out. So um, I felt like 2023 was the year that I should just try again. The next top I crocheted was a pattern test. This is the Sweetheart Sweater by Crochet Bow. I love it so much. It is so cute and it was so easy to crochet. I was a little nervous applying for this pattern test because I've never done a um, like a wearable like top or clothes or any kind of pattern test before. So it was like new to me and I learned a lot and I learned how important it is to measure your body. And they wrote it really well for like beginners like me. So it was um, it was really easy to crochet. I crocheted so many bags. The first bag, this is the star bag. It's cute. She's the moment. I love her. This was a pattern test for handmade by Lias or Lias. The Toki tote bag. Um, the next bag, I made this for Valentine's Day. I really hated working with um, granny squares. So I wanted to challenge myself to crochet a bag using them. Um, the next bag is this one. I just crocheted this one out of the blue. And this is the inside. So cute. The next bag is this Pococo bag. It is made with thick yarn. And the black is made with 100% acrylic. This is a pattern test for Gerby Goods. It is just so cool. It is so cute. Here is the inside. She put um, zipper instructions down and she made little videos. Oh my gosh, she made videos in the pattern. It is so cool. I will link the pattern and her Instagram down below. The next bag, a Vivian Crochets. This is the Jamberry bag and I love it so much and it's so pretty look at how pretty it is this next bag is my pattern the sweetheart bag i love um adding ribbon or ruffles or lace onto my crochet i just think it makes it so beautiful so i wanted to make a pattern that involved all the ribbon and lace and i just love it so much so this I made this in the beginning of the year. It is a cat beanie. Um, it is a little big. It did start flaring because I used a different weight of yarn right here. This next hat is a bucket hat. It is it was a pattern test for Amika mm -hmm. Studio. So cute. I was so excited to crochet this. It's a cat beanie I made with a hundred percent acrylic yarn. This is more fitted, like this next beanie it was a pattern test for mm -hmm. Hooked by Dreams. It looks so nice. This is the back. Next hat is a balaclava. So for the next category, it is the Amigurumi. Here's the first one. This was a paid collaboration for the Woobles. It is so cute. This um, flan or 
there's other names for it next is the miscellaneous the first one is my gingham dust mat um, i crocheted it because um my desk is white and i usually like to eat or drink while i'm working and i didn't want to get my desk dirty so i made a dust mat to put on my desk next we have a bunch of polaroid frames for your photos and i saw this on pinterest and i had to make them they are so cute and I added bows because nothing's cute without a bow. And I made a bunch of those. Here's another one with a bow that is going lopsided. This was kind of out of the blue. This was like a Pinterest inspired pouch thing. When you open it, I added fabric, crocheted these tapestries. Oh my god, I didn't ever post this one. It's just a cute little cat. All shy. I crocheted this. And so satisfying seeing it all to come together. It's really nice. I really love crocheting graph. These are my star coasters. Uh oh. I crocheted this um, cat paw coaster just out of the blue. I just, I saw it on Pinterest, I think. I crocheted a sleeve for my plant. It is so cute. It's a strawberry. I crocheted a bunch of these. They are for your headphones. The next thing is this gingerbread man. Earmuffs. Here's the earmuffs. They're heart earmuffs. They are so cute. And I used fuzzy yarn and I got like just a headband and I wrapped yarn around it. Last but not least, here is my jellyfish. Love it so much. Look at how cool all the detailing is. I feel like it was a great challenge for myself to challenge my uh, crocheting skills. I had to uh, switch UK terms to US terms, so that was pretty complicated. I had to um, frog my my project a lot. It doesn't seem like I crochet much, to be honest. I feel like I will crochet a lot more things this year. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!